In a previous video I started to describe the behaviour of this system um, using a sequence diagram. But sequence diagrams uh, don't pr provide a full specification of behaviour, they only provide a description of you know, typically a single run. And to add a detailed specification of behaviour I need to use a, a diagram called a state machine and I'm going to add that now. Um, and I'm going to do that block by block and I'm going to start with the lamp block because that's a particularly simple component. Notice I'm using the block here not a part so I am using the specification of the uh, generic component. So as previously I would just right click and add a new diagram and the diagram I want is a state machine. And as previously, the tool has created me a container. And I'm just going to reshape that slightly. I'm now going to start adding to the model itself and start with adding an initial state for this state machine. and that is the state at which this machine starts at, uh, at start-up. Um, since this is the lamp, I'm going to have two states, one for the lamp being on and one the other for the lamp being off. So here we are, I've uh, added my two states and, and now I want to describe the legal transitions. So for example, in the initial state, um, when the microwave goes on, um, we actually want to start with the default state of the microwave cavity itself being off. Seems like a um, a safer thing to do than uh, start with the micro cavity on. Now I'm going to add a transition between the off state and the on state. Again, select the transition edge and click on each of the states in turn. Now you notice at this point, rather annoyingly, I get a little error um, indicator here um, and I believe that's another small defect in this papyrus tool. If you select the edge and look at the UML definition, you actually see that the name definition that I entered um, wasn't entered correctly, it lost it. So I'm going to reset that. The fact that that flashed green momentarily told me that that is now set correctly, um, but I do also just need to remove that error indication. Selecting validation and remove markers from subtree. So the error is now gone, um, I can just reshape this transition. And so now I'm just going to add the other transition in exactly the same way.
We've got some more work to do on this state machine, um, but for now, what you should do is thinking about practicing um, this drawing of state machines using uh, by adding detail to the other simple components. So that would be the motor um, and the door, and really by a simple analogy from what we've done here, you should be able to uh, model those to some level of detail.